We will talk about Star Wars The Last Jedi, and it won't involve your love or hate about Finn and Rose's trip to Canto Bight. Plus, there will be more stuff about Sea of Thieves, and we get a plausible explanation for an X-Men movie delay. Here are the top five stories you might have missed this week. Number five, Sony has made it cheaper for you to strap on a headset and forget about the real world. The PlayStation VR Doom Bundle has been slashed by $100, now retailing for 300 bucks. The package offers the VR headset, PlayStation camera, PSVR Demo Disc 2.0, and Doom VFR. Oh, and the PlayStation VR Skyrim Bundle also saw a price drop going from $450 to $350. So hey, if you feel like you're not spending enough time looking like a goober flailing around in your living room, there's nothing stopping you now. Except, you know, all of that money and then having the time and the space. Number four, X-Men Dark Phoenix might have been delayed because of logistical issues. Collider reports Fox pushed the movie back to February 14th because there wasn't enough time to do reshoots with a star-studded cast like Michael Fassbender, Jennifer Lawrence, and Jessica Chastain until August or September. That obviously would have really rushed things for Dark Phoenix's original premiere date of November 2nd. As for the New Mutants delay, it sounds a lot more worrisome. Fox and director Josh Boone supposedly had the dreaded creative differences issue, plus half of the movie needs to be reshot. Yikes. Number three, the proposed death tax for Sea of Thieves is, well, dead. Rare has apparently dropped the idea to the bottom of the ocean after community feedback. The plan was to charge players for dying, with the cost increasing for preventable dumb deaths. But the game's executive producer, Joe Neat, said on Twitter that the messaging was messed up and it's no longer happening. To Davy Jones Locker, the idea goes. Number two, Speaking of Sea of Thieves, Rare has apparently found pirate gold with the game. That's because Microsoft has announced Sea of Thieves is the fastest selling first party new IP for Xbox One. And over on Windows 10, it's already the best selling first party game. In all, Microsoft and Rare say Sea of Thieves already has over 2 million players. That's a lot of scallywags. And number one, a deleted scene from Star Wars The Last Jedi shows Luke Skywalker grieving the death of his old pal Han Solo, and actor Mark Hamill wished it had made the final cut. Speaking to IGN about whether he regrets that it's not included, Hamill said, yes, of course, because it shows Luke was putting on a facade in front of Rey and even Chewie, that he was embittered and sort of a broken man. And I think the fact that he could let his emotions out when he was by himself would have made an impact on the audience because it allowed them to grieve the loss of Han Solo just the way Luke felt it. Oh well, what's done is done. Let's not cry over spilled green alien milk. There you have it. Those are the stories you might have missed this week. Now that you're caught up, be sure to watch the rest of our Daily Fix episodes for more news. And hey, check out our video review of Sea of Thieves. Find out if you should set sail with a pirate game or give it no quarter. With that, I'm Casey DeFridis, and I hope you all have a jolly old weekend. <laughs> Were you sleeping back there? No. Why are Wait, you here? Did you just do the fix? Yeah. I'm the top five. I thought I was doing the fix. You, I've been here since yesterday. You did the fix yesterday. Go home. There's a long weekend. What? Mmm.